In the remote rural areas of Western Myanmar's Sagain region, lack of access to health facilities can prove fatal for children under five. Common childhood illnesses such as malaria, diarrhea and pneumonia are major causes of sickness and even death. To address this, Malaria Consortium has been piloting an approach called ICCM, or Integrated Community Case Management, which includes diagnosis and treatment of these three diseases, combined with screening for malnutrition. The pilot covers three townships. Myanmar benefits from an existing network of local villagers who act as malaria volunteers, established by the Ministry of Health and Sports. These volunteers have been instrumental in reducing malaria in recent years and can now play a critical role tracking those increasingly rare cases of the disease as the country moves towards elimination. Now that malaria is less common, Malaria Consortium has built on this network by retraining malaria volunteers to deliver ICCM to their communities, turning them into key players in making the ICCM approach work. During the project, malaria volunteers have shown they can effectively and safely diagnose and treat childhood illnesses, as well as prescribe antibiotics correctly. A crucial part of this achievement has been providing ICCM training not just for the malaria volunteers, but for those who are supervising their activities. Under the leadership of the three departments of the Ministry of Health and Sports, we organize the training of trainers for the health staff from the township and regional NMCB team. As the result of the TOT, these muscle trainers give the cascade training for the basic health staff to do supervision of malaria volunteers. As the test staff, these muscle trainers did the cascade training for malaria volunteers on how to deliver ICCM health service. ยูดีเดนันเตบิเดคามังงานเนี่ยออกเกลียดเซนเซกูตาเดนินานิโกซาชิเกบาเดปูคามาเจนอเนเซงันจามัยวันนามันเซนามัยออจวนเจียนออเ
Preliminary results demonstrate that malaria volunteers can take on additional skills to provide ICCM in their communities. This has successfully expanded their contribution to healthcare beyond just malaria. The trained malaria volunteers can fill in a gap, particularly for the under five population, where the current health system does not provide the health facility and healthcare provider at the moment. In a country which is getting close to eliminating malaria, the network of malaria volunteers remains an essential mechanism for identifying and tracking individual cases of the disease. With ICCM added to their duties, Malaria volunteers remain an important asset to their communities. They are equipped with the skills, tools and medical supplies to diagnose and treat childhood illnesses, assess and refer cases of malnutrition, while remaining vigilant about those increasingly rare malaria cases. ICCM has the potential to become a feasible and effective strategy for extending health services to remote communities and improving the health of children under five. The participation and cooperation of key government departments in this pilot to make ICCM part of the National Malaria Strategic Plan has been vital to the project's success. Once the pilot is complete and the final recommendations shared, Malaria Consortium hopes that the Myanmar Ministry of Health and Sports will see the value in scaling up this approach. It is very important and essential to find out the needs and you know, lessons from the current operation research and to advocate three existing uh, departments we are working with, the National Malaria Control Programme, Child Health and Development Division, Nutrition Development and Research to get their commitment, to get their approval, and to draw the plan for scale up. ကျွန်တော်စံနာတော့စကားနဲ့ဒေတာကြီးအတွက်မှာငါးနေရောဂလေးတွေပြီးဆုံးမှုတွေလျှော့ချမှာဖြစ်တဲ့အတွက်အက